Coming to you today from what looks to be some type of small resort or campground. Right in front of us down here we have several little cottages or cabins that we're going to be checking out. But first we're going to check out this structure right here. Don't know anything about it yet, we kind of found this on Google Maps. And I don't have any information on it yet, but I'm going to try and do some research. So if there is anything I do find, I will share it throughout the video. Otherwise, if not, just enjoy the, the content. Okay, we're starting off in the basement. That was the building I just showed you. First thing I notice is this nice uh, fireplace. And it looks like our second set of steps, so we could probably go up this one here. Ooh. Hello. First thing I noticed is it looks like this is in the midst of a, a remodel. Yeah, it's like one of the old glass insulators. Hmm. It's a heavy duty one. Here looks to be the non-remodeled part of the house. I'm not sure if this was a house or a like a common common area for people staying in the cabins. Really beautiful stone fireplace. was looking for a new laptop got one right here for you yeah you can see right up to the second floor bathroom they even got some hidden closets here get a little white on this here
They didn't even finish doing the dishes. Any dates? Okay, hopefully you guys can see this in the video. We found our first approximate date of when this place became vacant. We got 2011 on this juice box container. 2012. And ketchup has 2012, so we're looking at approximate around six, seven years that this has been abandoned. All right, next to the kitchen on the other side of the stairwell, we got a pretty decent looking piano. And now we're gonna make our way upstairs. First thing I spot is a calendar. This one doesn't correlate with downstairs. This one is dated 2003. And by the looks of it up here, it's pretty much gutted. I don't know how good these floors are. And that's looking right down to the fireplace that we saw down in the kitchen. And there's the bathroom. And we got some posters in here. gonna go on a hunch here. I think the person that stayed in this room was either a skateboarder or snowboarder or both. See they have a nice outdoor patio there. This looks like it's maybe in the middle of a demo or a remodel, but either way, it hasn't been touched in a while. This floor is kind of uncertain in its stability to hold me. I'm kind of taking it slow and steady here. bigger room. Had your own private deck here. Very wooded scenic area. Not much else to see up here, so we're gonna make our way back downstairs and check out the rest of the house. That connects over to where we first started, the unfinished area. And here's a nice look at this front porch or front deck. It's pretty large and very nice. Someone's tripod, it's not mine. This has a very old smell to it. 
And it's pretty much one of the only intact, untouched rooms for the most part in this whole place. And we got some adult magazines, which I can't really show on camera. This mantle's really nice. So we can find a date on some of this stuff here. I think we got some computer chargers here. This is December 2006. So at least these dates are matching up with what we saw with the stuff in the kitchen. From what I can see here too, I think someone either lived here or stayed here that was into some type of photography because we found that tripod and now we found this flash for the camera. And you can see out the windows here we got additional structures back here too, as well as those cabins. Got some DVDs here, Scary Movie 3, Bond, Open Range. We have these MRI results here. We dated those. Those are 2008. So, roughly 10, 11, 12 years, we're guessing, for the date of last occupancy. Kodak Amateur Printer. Wow. I wonder what the date is on that. If any one of you are familiar with this, let me know if you know approximate date. There we go. Kodak Amateur Printer. Made in USA. Patent USA 1914 to 1915, I believe. And 1916 date. There's a bunch of dates on here, but they're all early 1900s. This is something that's pretty old and unique. I never saw this before. Again, if you guys have any information on this at all, I'd love to hear about it. That's something you'll probably never see just laying around in an abandoned location. So, I guess my hunch was right. Someone that stayed here had a love for photography because we got the printer, the flash, the tripod over there. And here we have some pretty beat up furniture. And lots of reading material. And here's just a good look from the corner of the room. Very large and spacious. All right, that's gonna do it for this first building. And now we're going to make our way out and either check out some of the buildings behind us or the cabins. So, be right back. Okay, so that's where we just came from. And right outside in front of it, we have an abandoned vehicle.
Mercury Villager. It's definitely seen better days. Imagine it's been sitting here for a while. Nice size pool, I'll tell you that. This should give you a good comparison size of the pool compared to myself. Thing I noticed too is underneath all this moss is the pool floor it's still there. It's like a concrete bottom. I have something kind of interesting here next to the pool. I don't know what this is. There's a pipe coming out of it. It's like maybe there's a well at some point. Or something for water. Not really sure. And this was the filtration house for the pool. And here we came upon our first cabin. As you can see, they're pretty much gutted. At least this one is. Nothing really to see inside, just a nice fireplace there. But we'll check out some of the other ones. Maybe there's more inside to see. And here we have the white ash cabin. Pretty rotty, you can see the floor is falling through. You can tell these are old, outdated cabins, wood paneling walls. Been 
ventilation unit. I'd say they've all been pretty much stripped. I think piles of insulation there. Hoping we can find an intact one before we get out of here because they're all pretty much stripped and gutted. This one's a little more intact than the other one, so we'll keep going on. If all of them look gutted, I'm not going to show them to you. If we do find one that's more intact, then that's where we'll meet up with the next part of the video. All right, next one we've got is cedars, and let's see, we got a tree on the roof there. And we'll check this one out. This one's more intact. Got a small kitchen area. Looks like two bedrooms. If you hear that gentleman talking, it's actually a uh, demolition guy who came here to take pictures. He's going to be tearing down this resort in a couple weeks. He did share some information with us, so uh, I'll put that throughout the video, which he probably already started reading from the beginning. The wiring and the copper pipes are still in here. This is the world's smallest ceiling fan. Look at this. Here's a nice overview of the resort here. You can see it's pretty sprawled out. It's like a nice piece of property. Now there are two little structures here. I'm going to zoom in on them and show you. That structure there, as well as that one, was built to house wild birds. We were told that the original owner was a bird lover. He actually had birds fly up into the upstairs top portion of the main building there, the home. He had a kind of chicken wire fenced off area for the birds to stay in as shelter. And these two little structures were strictly made for birds. Now this is the first structure I showed you that was built strictly for birds. I don't know how it used to look, but probably some kind of fencing or wiring around it. And here's the second one. Yeah, so supposedly this was some kind of little home or habitat area for birds. So we see here maybe it was some type of opening or nesting area for this kind of... We got a nice little spider up there. Now before anyone says anything throughout the video, you're probably going to see some post-it signs, but we do have permission to be here. We met up with a gentleman who's going to be hired to raise this property, 
and he said we're allowed to walk around and take some photographs and videos so don't get any ideas we're not breaking the law we're just documenting this before it's gone and this will be gone probably by the end of june if not sooner this one doesn't look too sturdy but we'll try it anyways we got some car seats in here and I don't mean the child seats I mean literally seats out of a car that is a beautiful fireplace I love that natural stone look to it and that's going right down to the ground See, you had a really nice view out your window here. It's like a trap. Some kind of trap. Very small. Here's an old uh, split door. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Alright, this is where we originally started our video. This is the main building, the main house. We're now behind it. And we're going to check out these additional structures. This view here gives you a sense of just how big it is. Yeah, it looks like steps in there. And you can see there's new windows up top. So this was, as we were told, trying to be updated and remodeled to open for business again. But it kind of got tied up in their money and couldn't finish it. Oh boy, a lot of stuff in here. This smells just like the haunted house in here. Like that grease smell? Yeah. Oh, here's that kiln they mentioned. Yeah, the gentleman that was talking to us said that the original owner built a kiln to, what was it, for wood? To dry wood. Yeah, to dry wood. I guess some like special older wood, but he never had it plumbed and it never got used. And it's just sitting in here. So it's basically brand new. You can see it has the rollers in there to roll it out. Place your pieces of lumber on there and that was it. I thought it was a giant, I thought it was a giant toolbox at first. Some old machinery and parts. Looks like maybe a carburetor or something here. It's a nice workshop, though. It's got some nice high ceilings, bright windows. I'm tucked away in the corner, spotted an old wood burner. That would heat this place in the winter time. Right, we're in the second garage now and you can see we have a little bit of a blockage here we've got to climb over. Get some light on here. 
And this one looks a little more modern. Got a solid concrete floor and some fluorescent shop lights. This seems like it was a type of workshop or a repair shop maybe. So one common theme with a lot of these abandoned places is always just piles of random junk laying around. Got some medicine here. Some packaging of new lights. Now before coming in this garage, right outside that wall where that pipe is, there's something pretty uh, intriguing out there that Mike spotted. So I'm going to take you for a walk out there and show you and maybe you guys could decipher what it is. So I'm going to head back outside I'll meet up with you right outside there. That's the garage we were just in. The first thing I want to show you is this massive, enormous boiler. I don't know why they'd have something so large here if it was just for heating a garage. That's pretty big though. But behind this is something even cooler. I came up with a syn synopsis that this is probably a homemade generator. They even look at they have like a control board there. So they got a radiator and a fan, the actual engine, the drive shaft that goes to here and stops. And then there's the muffler. It's all like erected under this little shop, this little shack here. I'm gonna get on that side and give you a better view. This is the control board here, or operator's panel. See, it looks like he's got a choke here. Bunch of toggle switches. And some sort of handle. I don't know if it's maybe a throttle or a shifter. This is a little four-cylinder engine. I think this is a custom, like, one-of-a-kind piece here that they just erected for some type of purpose. But you can see the drive shaft goes through but doesn't connect to anything. If you guys have any idea what this may have been for, I'd love to know. Maybe something for wood cutting, like an old sawmill maybe? I'm not really sure. Just kind of throwing out possible guesses here. Yeah, there's the overall view of it. Pretty interesting. All right, farther back in the property, we came upon what looked to be a trailer, like a movable trailer, like for racing or lawnmower equipment, but. Upon further inspection, it's another habitat for birds. I believe it was birds. Maybe it wouldn't be chickens or rabbits, but I'm guessing birds. He's right behind it. Yeah, he's looking at us. Got a perfect shot of him. He's having a snack. There's two of them. It's a good area for them. There's no way to really bother them here. There's there's three of them.
So what we're looking right now is just to the rear and the right hand side of those garages if you were facing the back of the garages. Some nice wildlife here. Skinny. See the ribs on him. Alright, that's going to wrap up today's video. This was a pretty cool location. It's a nice secluded wooded family resort. And that main house had a lot of rooms and you know some unique items left behind. And those cabins look like at one point they would be really nice to stay in. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you happen to enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe now and make sure you ring that notification button. That way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.